Hello everyone, it's been a moment again. Um, and some of you may have witnessed an exchange that I had yesterday that I really want to talk about. I'm just trying to figure out where to, where to look on this thing. Um, and it's this expectation that people have of people like myself who who have weighed the pros and cons, who have actively um, committed themselves to doing the work that others for some reason may not be able to do, aren't interested in doing, don't know how to do. Um, particularly when we're talking about inclusion and diversity, we're talking about racism, we're talking about all these social justice issues. And um, the conversation I had yesterday was quite disturbing on so many levels. Um, one was that there's an individual, and he's not alone, that believes that he's owed attention, um, that he's owed um, It was reciprocity, um, that he's owed something in exchange for retweeting our stuff, if he's using hashtag cause a scene, um, whatever. And this wasn't directed at me, but it came up in my feed. And initially, I really wanted to understand where this, this, these thoughts of obligation on our behalf we're coming from because this is not the this is the this is the most overt um, instance of this. But I've experienced where someone will um, tag me in something with the expectation that I re will either retweet or comment on it, um, and that's why I have hashtag cause a scene. If there's something that you want to share with me, you put you use the hashtag cause a scene. Um, and if I choose to retweet, like, or whatever, then that's my choice. I don't have to agree with what you are causing a scene about. Um, it's not, I don't own the hashtag. I just have dominated it. <laughs> but um, I guess at a gut level, this is what I'm getting to. Women of color are the most marginalized individuals, particularly in tech. And in the United States, black women are the most marginalized because women of Asian descent, women of, um, well, not take that back because uh, women of uh, Latina women are also um, very much marginalized, but they don't have the same history as descendants of slaves have in the United States. And they don't have the history of white culture, privileged culture, um, expecting them to save them to be their mammies to to continue to suckle at the teats of black women and for a black man to insinuate himself and to be insistent that a woman of color owes him any fucking attention was disturbing on so many levels for me it was hard for me to sleep because it came across as if we're not our own people that you as a community own me and my behavior is dictated by you i have no say in who i choose what voices i choose to amplify i have no say in any of this that i'm owned by you and that's fucking unacceptable that's some privileged bullshit and if i won't take it from whiteness why the hell would i take it from a black man I was like, I could not believe this. I could not believe this. And so I wanted to create this video because what it left me feeling was that his insistence and disconnection to how absolutely grimy that felt was the beginning of what I think how stalking starts. When people just, they they you're no longer an individual you're this thing that they have created for themselves of an idea of you and because you don't match that thing there's a problem 
And I want to cut this off at the knees. I just really want to put this out here. I don't owe you shit. I don't, if I decide to stop this today, I don't owe you an explanation. I don't owe you anything. If anything, this community owes me so much, has such a debt that it owes me for the work that I've done, unpaid no less, on behalf of those and who are, first of all, in privilege who don't know what the hell they're doing and I'm helping them guide them into making better choices so they can change this shit and also providing opportunities for people who are underrepresented and particularly marginalized to have a platform to share their voices or, or I amplify them in situations where I know that they aren't able to do that. So if you ever, ever choose to use your 280 characters to tell me what I'm supposed to do, just be prepared to get your ass flat cussed out on open Twitter. Because this is not acceptable. This is not. Mm. We owe you nothing. You have a, you are so indebted to us that you would never clear it. Keep that in mind. So have a great day.